Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 26 problem from June Lead Coding Challenge, Some Root to Leaf Numbers. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given a binary number containing digits from 0 to 9 only, each root to leaf path could represent a number. Find the total sum of all root to leaf numbers. In the given first tree, the sum is 12 plus 13, which is 25. In the second tree, the total is 1026. The first approach that we are going to discuss is recursive pre-order traversal. For this approach, think we have a function which has two parameters. First a node and second a temporary sum. We call the methods on root node with temp sum as 0. Now, when we call the method for left and right subtree, we pass node as left and right and sum as temp sum multiplied by 10 added with the current node value. So in our case, we call method on node 9 by passing 9 and the updated sum as 4. Similar to previous, we call method for left and right subtree of node 9. Now as we have reached the leaf node, we have come to what will become our exit condition. When at leaf node, we would return temp sum by 10 plus the current node value. In this case, 495. Same will happen with the other leaf node. Now as we are done with both subtrees of 9, we add both and return. Same will happen with the leaf node 0. At the end, we add both the result from 9 and 0 and return the final result 1026. The time complexity is O of n and the space complexity is O of h, where h is the height of the tree. Here is the code snippet for the recursion in order. Now coming up with an approach which takes quite the same time but uses no extra space. The Morris pre-order traversal. The idea of Morris algorithm is to set the temporary link between the node and its predecessor. So we will start from the node, compute its predecessor and verify if the link is present. If there is no link, we set it and go to the left subtree. If there is a link, we break it and go to the right subtree. Let's see in detail how it works in our case. For better understanding, do watch the video till the end. Let's take the same example. We will have two markers. One is root and other is predecessor. We will have current number which will hold the sum till the current node and a root to leaf sum which will hold the total sum. Initially, we will have 4 as root. We will iterate in loop till the root is not null. Now, we first check if left is null or not. As it is not null, we make left as our predecessor and then we move the predecessor to the right till it reaches leaf. We reach 1. Now we check if the right of predecessor is null or not. As it is null, we will create a link. We update right of predecessor to root. We then update current number with 10 multiplied by current number and add root value and then move root to its left. This completes the first iteration and as root is still not null, we move ahead. As root dot left is not null, we again start making predecessor as left. Now as there is no right, the predecessor becomes 5. We see that there is no link. So we create a link of predecessor to root. Now we update current number and update root to left. We again check if root dot left is null. We update current number. As left is null, we move root to right. We again check for root dot left and then we find the predecessor. As predecessor dot right is equal to root, we add the current number to root to leaf sum and then break the link. And then divide the current number. Now we move root to right. As left is null, we update current number and update root to right. We again check for its predecessor. At this time, the predecessor has a link. We break it. Also, we add current number to root to leaf sum and update the current number 2. Now we move root to right. As its left is null, we update current number. As right is also null, we add current number to root to leaf sum and update root to its right. As now the root becomes null, we return result. The time complexity is O of n while the space complexity is O of 1. Here is the actual code snippet from the method. Also check out the link to the Java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video.